don't need a dime, bitch, I'm still a high roller. I don't need Yo, 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 what is up, guys? It's your boy, Hexen Zeus, is coming with another great video. First things first, I have a sinus infection. I apologize. My voice is a little off today. But either way, I'm still going to teach you guys what you need to know to create a simple soundboard. So, for those of you, if you want to create this for just your learning and uh, just starting to learn VBNet or whatever it is, and you just want to kind of make something yourself, this is for you. If you have experience before with programming itself, um, and you just kind of don't know how to go about doing this specific, specific thing, I'm going to teach you how to do that as well. So to get started, you're going to need two programs. You're going to need Audacity, which is going to be right here. This is what you're going to use for your music or your sounds. And then you're also going to need Visual Basic or Visual Studio. We're going to go to a new project up here, form application, YouTube soundboard. Oh, I can't spell today. Soundboard one. There we go. Now that we got this here, we're gonna need some sounds. So I'm not gonna teach you how to do it for every time, but I'll show you a very simple. Um, I already have three of these sounds I need, but I'll teach you the simple way to do it. So we're gonna go into D's nuts, because of course it's supposed to be a comedy soundboard. We're gonna play it first off. Oh, cause someone came in the mail today. D's nuts. <laughs> so I'm not going to get the D's nuts part. I'm going to get when he's saying hot got him. So as I saw it started right around here. <laughs> got he. <laughs> got he. <laughs> and it ends right about here because this is where he hits the table. So you're going to go over to where you first selected where you're going to play from. And as you see the arrows or the I'm sorry, the, the fingers going to the right. So we're going to take this and select all the way up to about right here. Now let's play it. <laughs> Got he. <laughs> Got he. <laughs> That'll be good. So we're going to press control C, which is going to copy control N to open up a new instance and control V, which is going to paste it in there. Got he. <laughs> Got he. <laughs> there we go. Now we're going to go to export audio and I already have it in here right here, but you're going to make sure you save it as a WAV file. So we'll just save it as whatever. And as you see, this stuff comes up. It doesn't really matter. You're going to do that for every sound you want to have. So next, we're going to go into Visual Studio, and we're going to go to the toolbox and get some buttons. Now, since I only have three sounds I'm going to put in, I'm just going to copy it and paste it twice. And there you go. Now we got three buttons. Now, first things first, we're going to come over here to the text, and this one's going to be, got him. This one is going to be, who, and this one's going to be a triple. Now, you're going to double click on the first button. This is where the, I think, easy part comes in, but this is where you're going to need to know. Go to my... Nope, my bad. Computer, audio, play, and then in here you're going to put my, not computer again, I don't know why I pressed that, resources, dot. Now we're going to go to build, I'm sorry, project, and the soundboard properties. Go to resources, open this up and put the resources of the sounds you're going to want to have in the program. So as you come back here, dot, and the first one's going to be got em, comma. I like to make my, my code nice and clean together. We're going to go to audio. All right there. Play mode dot background. Now let's start it up. So that's good, and of course, these are not going to have any sounds yet for them. So next, you're going to go to the next button. And now what you can do is you can just copy and paste this over. Me, personally, I just like to uh, type it out. Dot, 
dot and this one's going to be that comma again come back down audio play mode background start it up that's good to go now let's go to the third one And we're going to put a triple, comma again, audio play mode background. Start it up. There we go. Now we're good with that. So if you'd like to add in a little bit of something else, let's say you're going to give this to someone else to use or a friend or you're going to make one for someone else and have a hundred different sounds in it. Just a simple thing I like to do is go to a link label. Take this label. Let me load right there. Let's go to, uh, let's put a hacking zoo. Let's just show your name. All right. Now we're going to come in here. Now we're going to go system dot diag. Not there we go. Okay, I can't spell today, guys. Process start. There we go. And then put in the link you want it to go to. So let's say there we go. Now you can even add a second one in there if you really want to. And there we go. So now that we have this, we can start it up. Of course, it'll open up the two links he sent it to. So my Twitch and my YouTube. Now, give that back up. Other things, if you if you are someone who already knows how to program, you just kind of needed that that one little line of code that I gave you. At this point, you're done with the video. Thank you for watching. If you don't, and this is one of your first programs you're ever going to make, and you just kind of want to make one yourself, I'll go a little bit more into depth for you. So first thing I would do is go to up here. Come on. There we go. All right, we're going to name it Form 1. Uh, let's name it uh, Soundboard. And then you can go up to, sorry, down to the icon. Now for this, it has to be a .ico. Uh, so you can go onto any website, take your PNG or JPEG, and just convert it over an ICO. So I just use my everyday uh, YouTube logo. Oh my God, I'm sick. I'm really sick, guys. On top of that, uh, I don't like having the minimize and maximize option. So go to maximize box, false, down to false. Now it's there. So now we just start it up. There you go. Now, when you want to build this, you're going to go to build, build the solution. Now, you're going to go to build YouTube Soundboard 1. Make sure you take it off of debug and put it on release if you want it to be there. Build. Now, it's built up. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to open up where my solutions are. It's on my other screen right now. Projects, soundboard. And here we are. Now you just take this, drag it over. And I accidentally pressed my hotkey to stop recording. So my bad on that. I didn't even do my outro. So guys, thank you so very much for watching. If you have any questions on any programs you would uh, like to make, you have programs you'd like questions on, anything you want me to make, Anything you, you got at all, put it down below in the comments section. Thank you guys for watching. It's been real. It's your boy Zeus, and I'm out.